Hi guys, Brand here, and welcome to another commentary video. Another little bit ranty one today. Sorry for the messy hair. Um, <laughs> uh, but we're going to be talking about something that frustrates me, probably the thing that frustrates me the most when it comes to playing Dead by Daylight. And if you have a lot of hours in Dead by Daylight, this probably frustrates you too. So pop a squat, hang out, because we're going to get into it. So what is the thing that I find extremely frustrating while playing Dead by Daylight? That is the fact that there is so many opportunities in this game to fabricate skill. One of the things that I love about Dead by Daylight is getting outplayed. Because when I genuinely get outplayed, it's actually really impressive, especially with a character like the Xenomorph, which has a very, very short windup for their tail attack. When people actually like dodge that thing, like organically, like they just react to it, that's really difficult. And that does take skill and mastery to do. And I'm like, wow, neat. Like I genuinely love when that happens. When I just go on a really, really long chase because somebody's just making really, really smart decisions. It's really, really cool and really, really awesome. I actually really enjoy it. Same thing on the survivor side. When I'm playing against like a cracked Deathslinger who sh hits a shot through like a like a, a four centimeter hole and I get hit and I'm like, oh gosh, oh no. <laughs> like I'm in danger, but it's like fun danger, you know? Um, being actually outplayed in Dead by Daylight is actually a very, very fun and interesting experience, regardless of the fact if you're winning or losing. Um, but I think the main problem that makes Dead by Daylight very frustrating, especially for players that actually get good at the game, is that there's so many ways to fabricate the skill that other people put in to actually be good. And a lot of this boils down to conversations we've had time and time again, that being like the meta in DBD is really lame and things are really, really strong and very, very overtuned when it comes to perks, items, offerings, that sort of thing. But it's, you know, this is it's the, it's the theme of the video. It's the main point of the video is that fabricating skill is really frustrating and they use these tools to do that let's take a similar example to the one we just talked about where if i'm going to go tail attack somebody and they react when meaning they dodge out of the way i go wow good dodge and if you guys have you know hung out on my twitch over at twitch.tv slash the mr headache you see that all the time somebody will dodge the tail attack last second i go ooh, good dodge or ooh, nice or ooh, yeah they did the right play there um I get really impressed and I get, I'm actually like, I will literally say I'm genuinely impressed. Good job. Like it's, it's, it's actually fun. Even though I'm like, you know, losing, it's fun to watch. Yeah, and I, it's cool to see somebody else be good at the game. And it's actually rewarding, even though it's like serving to help me lose the game, <laughs> you know? But let's take that same example. Somebody just narrowly dodging the tail attack. And let's say that person just has sprint burst, right? I'm going up to tail attack somebody and they just zoom out of the way. Like the moment they hear the wind-up noise, they just zoom out of the way. Did that person actually dodge the tail attack with the same level of skill the other person did? No, they just used a perk to do it. How many times have you guys been in a position where you are going to win a chase very definitively, but suddenly that person hits a window and they light the way? And you're like, oh, okay, I guess there's just seven extra seconds or more added to this chase for no other reason than checks notes uh, that you vaulted a window. How many times have you guys been uh, in a position where you're going to definitively win a chase, but they fall off a ledge and suddenly balance landing goes burr and suddenly there's, once again, seven plus seconds added to the chase for no other reason than just, well, you fell off a thing. <laughs> so the, the things in the game that are actually really hard, like mastering looping, learning the counterplay to every killer, can just be circumvented, or as the title of the video is, fabricated. You can fabricate that skill just by running perks that just kind of do it for you and let you autopilot. Um, and in those situations, it's particularly frustrating because when people are rewarded for not a whole lot, it just kind of feels bad. And it, don't get me, don't, let's not get it crossed here. Let's not get it mixed up. If the same thing happens when you're playing Survivor against Killer. How many times have you been in a situation when you are applying good gen pressure to a killer, but it just so happens that they have quad slowdown, so there's just not a whole lot you can do. <laughs> so it's really a thing that applies to both sides of Dead by Daylight, that there are ways that you can bring map offerings, items, or perks to circumvent things that usually players have to learn and actually get good at in order to play the game. <laughs> because while the fact that most exhaustion perks and, uh, slowdown have been kind of like uh nerfed or adjusted over time to be weaker dpd is still a game largely made up of perks this is why uh when it comes to chaos shuffle which is coming back this month thankfully that was one of the most popular alternative game modes that dead by daylight has released because it took away that that agency of players to just kind of cheese the game into circumvent skill by using perks to essentially imitate skill or cosplay as skill. Nobody's going to be I, I ran into a situation recently where I had a very bad game on Tobo Landing where there was a triple balance landing 
and they never left main building ever. So essentially they could just proc balance landing. And if you understand the layout of Toba Landing, the, the spaceship, the main building is in the middle of the map. So from that main building, if you have balance, you can make it to any loop you want on the map. So you can make it to any safe area you want from there. It's very frustrating. And a lot of this happens on other maps like Destroyed Ward, like Mount Ormond. Um, it's generally a strategy that's really, really frustrating. Were they outplaying me? No, they just brought a perk. <laughs> and they, they, they didn't do anything skillful. They didn't do anything intelligent. They just had a perk. And because I didn't bring like mult, like Xenomorph, I was playing Xenomorph. Xenomorph's, um, Xenomorph's exhaustion add-on is actually one of their worst add-ons, Molted Skin. <laughs> so it's not like I can bring an add-on. Um, I had Languid Touch, but because uh, the person that didn't have Balanced Landing was triggering it so much, uh, I didn't have it when I needed it. <laughs> so was I supposed to run like a uh, Mind Breaker along with it, just bring double coverage for exhaustion perks? Like I just got out perked. And I'm sure this is a situation that you run into a lot in DVD is where you just get out perked. Um, it's why when I'm on my streams and people do build requests and they're just like, oh yeah, just go play Myers with zero slowdown and not the good add-ons. I'm like, okay, well, like I'm gonna just, I, this is gonna suck. <laughs> this is gonna, it's gonna be terrible because like, even when you're running like a good build, like it's so easy to get out perked, much less running like a bottom three killer with like not a lot of slowdown or no slowdown whatsoever. Like it's just, you're just asking for trouble. And I think it's just really lame that behavior or behavior that dead by daylight plays out that way. And behaviors balance works that way that it doesn't matter really how good you are at the game if you are not bringing the right stuff. Cause there's just so many ways to pretend that you have skill just by cramming perks in. I think we're just very like, I think just naturally we are very like, <laughs> <laughs> reward oriented creatures as humans we like i do good i work hard i get thing like it's just it just makes sense right um so if you work hard and you get good at the game and you just get just blown up by somebody who just brought the right perk or bought the the meta of the month or the meta of the patch it just kind of feels bad it just feels bad and it feels like that skill does not uh come through and when you've spent a lot of time getting skilled at the game and all it takes is just you didn't bring the right perks and they brought all the overpowered perks it's just it just feels bad because they're not the same level of skill as you they just know how to cheese the game <laughs> and not all the time do you want to try super hard because there are ways around that like strategies with killer like you know camping tunneling slugging but you don't always want to play that way you don't always want to play to your to your max and if you're just suddenly being forced to because people are cheating the game it can be really really frustrating yeah i know this isn't just like anything new but i feel like i don't know if i'm just in some weird mmr bracket or something but i've just like been in a lot of situations lately where most games that i find frustrating whether i win or i lose come down to oh well they just have balanced or they just have life oh <laughs> like it's just i'm mad because like I like it's not me getting out played in any of these situations. It's just like the perks are stronger or the items they brought are stronger. Like it's just and then I've been running stronger stuff myself to try and like mitigate this. And I feel like I'm like contributing to the problem. <laughs> and then like these people are like, hey, you are sweating. You're bringing this way stuff. And I'm like, yeah, well, like I got to be prepared for like the three man balance landing squad offering to disturbed ward and falling off the main building okay like i need to i need some insurance for those people because i'm not being beat by people who aren't actually good at the game and just know how to abuse things like that's that's not happening <laughs> but like as a result the people that um do not bring those things get absolutely bodied so it's just i don't know i feel like it's just one of like the core issues of the game. And thankfully they said they want to mix up the meta again. Um, hopefully they actually mix up the meta because the last thing they quote unquote mixed up the meta, they just kind of changed what perks were used. The, the game is still who's running slowdown versus who's running exhaustion and gen rush. Like the, the, the name of the game is the same. We just switched the tools at which we play the game. The objective is still the same. Run a lot of slowdown bring my exhaustion gen rush and win the game that, that that it's just different perks that we use and even a lot of cases still not like it's still pain res and pops a little bit weaker but people still love pop like realistically even then it's a lot of it's the same so it's like i don't know <laughs> yeah like i said a little bit more of a uh, ranty uh video today but yeah i just think one of the most frustrating things in dead by daylight is the fact that there are ways in dead by daylight that are fairly easily and accessible uh to fabricate skill and outplay people who are better than you just because you brought perk to to do so uh of course the counterpoint to this is like well i don't have time to get good so i should be able to play the game however i want and i think that like 
I don't know. I don't like that. <laughs> Personally, I don't like that. If you have invested the time to be good at the game, um, yeah, somebody just bringing a perk should not beat you. <laughs> you know, like that's just some like perks should like not be as strong as they are to where like all somebody who actually wants to understand the game at its core and invest that time just it just doesn't mean anything like that it shouldn't be made pointless i think dead by daylight at its core is a game that is very much rewarding when uh players get good and two teams face off that are very good matter of fact that's one of the most fun match reviews that i do on the match review series or but it's just two good teams and there's like minimal mistakes because it's like oh wow it was really just neck and neck here like re realistically you're there's some inefficiency stuff, but realistically, it's just both of you playing well, really well. And those are the most exciting match reviews that I, I get to get my hands on. Um, <laughs> so it's just like, I feel like it hurts the game overall. I feel like it creates less exciting experiences uh, for both sides when people showing off their skill just gets like nerfed over time as perks say no <laughs> yeah what do you guys think do you think that fabricating skill is a problem in dead by daylight let me know down in the comments below but other than that, it's gonna be it for today's video friends thank you for listening to me talk and ramble uh but i do upload daily so i will see you tomorrow but if i do not well you know the thing i always say i'll see you when i see you Bye bye